We don't want to talk is, about Arsenal, right? We don't want to talk about Arsenal. They're boring. I mean, <laughs> okay, I, no, I thought no. you'd want to jinx Arsenal, but no, no, nothing to jinx, bro. All good, all good. Uh, good game, four two. Amazing. Uh, Ethan Nevenary, shout out. Very good player. Very good yeah, dude. Uh, he just came on and uh, yeah, dribbled did. like two three players. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> like a, a so bit. lively. Yeah, never seen him play, and this is the first time that I saw him, and I was like, shit. Just wanted to share yeah. one thing. There has been a discourse in Arsenal fan groups for the last two years that Arteta himself has never really promoted youth, and this is the problem because like Arsenal's have always been a sort of team from you know Fabregas times to that always had like some kind of youth coming up, will share Fabregas, whoever, and it was a problem there. But like when And he started Ethan Renwery in that Premier League game last season, where he became the youngest player to come on. A lot of talk sport journalists, a lot of people said that he's just doing that to be important, to make sure that he's the manager who introduced the first youngest. But cut short to now, he's starting a Premier League game, which is huge. He didn't start yet. Like, he, he didn't start yet. Through. Correct. Uh, the the goalkeeper started. Yeah, he, had, but he scored two goals and one goal. He didn't score a goal, but he scored two goals in the EFL come Cup, EFL Carabao Cup. But uh, just just the way that Arteta. has uh, introduced him slowly steadily now that martin odegaard is injured more chances i'm just very impressed by how slowly he's integrated him to the team and i think he's a really good player he's he's really skillful the position that he plays in uh, is exactly a copy of what position martin odegaard plays in but with different skills he's more of a carrier but, he's more uh, robust but wait i i don't know like i i thought arteta was the one who got saka and martinelli una emery who is una emery and these guys like 24 years each they are 20 arteta came 5 years ago each. yes correct so saka was introduced <laughs> by una emery as a left back in europa league games and then introduced more into the premier league but Ar- like i can say that arteta took them and like got a different level out of both of them definitely because he he removed all Oba and Lacazette and promoted these guys in, right? So not promoted. Still... Log Oba and Lacazette always used to play with Saka in in the Europa League okay. in 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 Unai Emery's last season as well. Saka has been our mainstay since 2019. That's why hmm. that is the reason why we respect Saka so much. He's just 23 and he's been carrying Arsenal for five years. That's a long time, yeah. bro. That's a long time. It it was around the time when Mason Greenwood used to carry United, and it was a competition of Greenwood versus Saka. Yeah. How far have we come? How far has he gone? <laughs> <laughs> scoring a lot of goals by the way yeah uh, deserve wants to get uh, mendy also in the team bro that city mendy yeah. you know, that's good <laughs> get all of them like they completely What? embrace that they are the fan base for like redemption yeah <laughs> sexual redemption <arc. laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah final words on uh, uh, arsenal's victory quite nervy and uh, sterling trossard and sterling are going to be really good depth for Martinelli so I'm very happy with the team and happy I, with I, I don't know if I saw enough of Sterling but like I really thought uh, Trossard coming back after that red card was such a like such a nice moment for him because you know his the red card was not really his fault I completely believe in that and just coming back and like scoring that third goal also hmm. I know it's a officially piece, own bro. goal like set pieces yeah. and uh, one one really underrated thing about our set pieces is just the fact that Saka wherever the hell he wants to deliver it he delivers is exactly to the point that's a skill that's an amazing skill that he can just yeah. like curl the ball into Consistent. wherever the hell he wants and i think opposition has started getting scared of uh, arsenal corners because like two times i oh, saw go corner corner go out and then brighton's players were just like guys get ready like something some Dude, shit is going to happen i i saw one corner routine of arsenal in the last game where like All the players are just at the edge of the box, and Brighton are just standing in front of their goal, <coughs> just standing in front of the goal, so that they just can't score. Mm-hmm. And so still, is, like this somehow is you can't score. Mainly the thing. So Ben White, Mandem, three four players. They 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 basically <laughs> go ahead and they cover the goalkeeper in like this weird sort of situation where the goalkeeper and the defenders are all confused, and Saka is going to ping the ball at the back, and then either Gabriel or Havertz, both of them are going to like whatever juxta position come inside, and whoever has a better shot at the goal. Just goes so brilliant routine. It's become penalty corners for us, like hockey. I think, <laughs> and also Gabriel. The last time I was so sure that a defender would score was like John Terry, and I think now I think whenever I see Gabriel at a yeah, corner, yeah. I'm like shit. This guy's he has so he has so many headers, bro. In every game, like he's Head always there, there bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, this exists in like a lot of top Premier League teams. Like even Villa have like one. They're doing a random set piece. A lot of teams are doing it, and if Ten Hag is trying to do it too, <laughs> like, like I mean, we have I think one delicate goal that I saw that 
sort of work that what one sort of like could save but yeah i still have like figured it out like set pieces wise with odegaard out i was really like like it's gonna get sexy because this is where arteta has to come through right like, this is a deficiency and this is a space for him where you know he has to show his strengths and set pieces was like and he's like you realize that if you don't have your creative chief you know in, in the premier league as high as you play you can push corners and I I told Mira this before that Liverpool at the at the best at the set pieces rotate in the Premier League. All their play is like set pieces, like those long balls, those strings. Real and time, like everywhere. Set pieces, right? Exactly, those it's are like running it's live in the game, live ball. Yeah, in the, on, on a, like a live ball. Arsenal do build up and stuff and like yeah, and then yeah. they do this. Yeah. So and I was looking at stats just for like title race too. Do the main stats that Liverpool are creating better chances and the missing less big chances. Arsenal now only restricted to set pieces and personal. But if I think it's a three horse race with City, if you can get Odegaard back, I think it's like that moments like the referee and all of these like stuff that they put in. But I'm. Arteta has done so well, and for me, it's it's sort of crazy to like see this with like what Tera is doing, and <laughs> and he's blaming it on like injuries and like all that shit. Like Today will be the red card. So. Yeah. So. It's always something. It's the easy All way right. out, right? Uh, also, uh, the Nihal's uh, friend asked if he can say nice things about Chelsea. I think I only said exclusively bad things. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But if we can get this in the segment, yeah. start. Chelsea actually doing really, really well, man. Like they're a really good top ta- top side. I think they're coming back really well. Yeah, that's all I have. That's it. <laughs> that's that's the fakest before, review before, I've be, ever seen. Be, be, before this, he also said that come November 10th they won't be in top four. So oh, just let's <laughs> also piece both of them together. <laughs> like Delolo and the Sololo or whatever, <laughs> but I don't know how Chelsea fans are also reacting to this success. I don't know if they like uh, they're not prepared for it. So okay, they're, they're not prepared it. for it. Yeah, I feel like they're definitely not prepared. They're like they're confused. Bro, trust me. They're I think they're for... confused whether this will sustain or not themselves. Such and difficult they're also problems, con- right? And they're also probably like looking forward to January and the transfers that will happen. <laughs> More to strengthen the squad <laughs> to get to the title. 